Here we have to talk about the chronic ischemic heart disease and it is the part of ischemic heart disease. So let me talk about what is CIHD, chronic ischemic heart disease. If the congestive heart failure developed because of long term ischemic damage to the myocardial tissue, then it is called as CIHD. So what is happening here? There is a long term, long term ischemic damage to the myocardium. Long term ischemic damage to the myocardium, this progresses to the development of congestive heart failure. If the congestive heart failure is developed because of the long term ischemic damage to the myocardial contractile tissue or the myocardial tissue, then congestive heart failures will be developed because of that, then it is called as CIHD. So, what is the pathogenesis over here? So, you need to remember that, for example, if we take this is the ventricle, if there is an infected area, this is the infected area because of long term ischemic damage can cause infection and the infected area in later stages replaced by the development of scar tissue, scar tissue. Remember that the scar tissue is non contractile in nature, whatever may be the scar which is developed at the area of the necrotic tissue at the area of the infected tissue cannot take part in the contraction. So, due to this what happens the left ventricle contractile capacity decreases because of the infected tissue is replaced by scar. So, this is what is responsible for the development of congestive heart failure. So, what is the main pathogenesis behind this? the infected tissue or the damaged tissue or the ischemic tissue is replaced by non contractile scar tissue. This is what is the main pathogenesis. So, pathogenesis is the formation of scar, right. So, what are the clinical findings we will see in chronic ischemic heart disease? So, there will be obviously left ventricular failure automatically that leads to right ventricular failure. So, there will be a congestive heart failure of uh, both left as well as right ventricle that is the reason we will say biventricular, biventricular congestive heart failure, biventricular congestive heart failure that is left as well as right sided congestive heart failure and this will progresses to the development of dilated cardiomyopathy, dilated cardiomyopathy MCQ question. So, this biventricular congestive heart failure at later stages develops towards dilated cardiomyopathy. This is what we will see in the chronic ischemic heart disease. So, by this we completed the chronic ischemic heart disease.